Okay, but uh, say for instance that's not what we want and what we actually wanted was to uh, take each number from this group and multiply it by each number from this group. So to create a kind of permutation of multiplications, uh, how do we do that? Well, in the old days, there was a, sort of special um, options that you have to check to do this kind of permutation. But um, for the last few years in the new versions of Grasshopper, they've implemented these more complex data structures to handle exactly this kind of functionality. And the way that Grasshopper implements this is through the use of trees. So tree you can think of as kind of a branching organizational structure where depending on what branch or what level your data is at, it's handled differently. Um, so for instance here, if we want to say take each of these numbers and multiply it by each of these numbers, we just have to place them in different levels of the tree. So I'll show you how this works very quickly. Um, if we have this list, it's a flat list. You can see that um, it's just one collection of 10 values. And if we want to start manipulating how this data is organized, we can start using some of these tree components. So in the set tab, we have this uh, tree category. And it ha this has a lot of uh, operations you can do on trees. Uh, one basic operation is graft tree. So here's the graft. You basically pass it any data structure and what this will do is it'll actually graft uh, all of that data so that now instead of one list of values, it's gonna contain a series of branches with one value within each branch. So it's gonna kind of graft it up into the next level of data. And to visualize that, we can just create a couple panels. Um, so I'm gonna plug in my original list into this panel. You can see that it's a flat list. Here is the branch. Um, index, so you can see that here's one kind of uh, container of data, and there's 10 numbers in that container. And now if we create another panel and plug in our grafted data, you can see what's happened. It's the same exact data, but instead of having one container with 10 values, now we have 10 containers with one value each. And the reason that is useful is that when, depending on the structure of your data, um, it's going to impact the way that your data is processed by different nodes. So in this case, if we have uh, this kind of structure where the data is in different branches and you plug that into our multiplication node, what it's going to do is it's going to take um, the number within each branch and multiply it by every single number here. So instead of going one by one down the list of values, it's going to actually go down one by one down the list of uh, these containers or these branches. So it's gonna take the first branch and perform the operation on each value in this branch, take the second branch here, perform each operation on all the values in this branch. So it's the same exact idea, but instead of dealing with values, now we're dealing with branches and data structure. And the other thing you'll notice is how the visualization of the data flow changes. You start to get this dashed line. So anytime you go um, into branches or there's like some complexity or structure to your data beyond just a straight list, you will start to see these um, dashed lines and these dashed lines will permeate as long as you have that complexity of the data. All right, so if you wanna do these graphs, there's actually a shortcut. Uh, in the past, you have to use these tree components, but in new versions of Grasshopper, they've actually built in these uh, simple tree op operations right into the input and output of the nodes. So whenever you pass in a piece of data, you can always right click on the input. And here you have those basic operations. Uh, reverse will reverse the data list. Uh, flatten will get rid of any tree structure. So it'll bring it back to just a straight list of data. And then graft we've already seen. So for instance, we can uh, take this number, plug it back in. So again, here we have our simple list of 10 numbers. And if we right click here and do graft, It'll do the same exact thing as this node did, but saving us a step and also visualizing it for us like what the operation is. And after that operation, you can see what's happened is now we have 10 branches with 10 values each. And for each one, uh, each number in this data set is being multiplied by each number in this data set. You see how that works here. And if you hover over here, it's actually gonna give us a different representation. Um, it's gonna show us the basic branch structure in our data and then the number of values in order to actually see the values, these panels come in really handy. Another uh, useful uh, tool for visualizing the structure of these trees 
is the parameter viewer. So you can access that in parameters. Um, and it's this icon here. Or you can just type in, uh, double click on your canvas and type in param viewer. So the param viewer works in two ways. If you plug in any data structure, it'll give you that same kind of representation. Um, but it's going to tell you exactly what's going on. So here I'm saying I have data in 10 branches. Uh, here are my branch indices. And here are the number of values in each branch. If I double click, it's going to give me an actual visual representation of that tree. So here you can see my first level of 10 branches. And within each uh, branch, I have 10 values. Okay, so that can be also pretty useful to get a, a graphic uh, representation of how your data is working. Uh, the last kind of useful uh, shortcut for working with trees, if you right click on any of the input or outputs of any node, you have the simplify. And simplify will basically reduce your branch representation to the simplest level possible while retaining the structure. So before, uh, if we didn't do the simplify, you can see that's adding a lot of kind of extra initial branches. So what this is saying is at the first level, uh, branch zero, and then within that, another branch zero, and then within that, now we start to get our different branches. If we do uh, simplify, it's just gonna reduce that uh, naming structure so we just have our branches labeled. And this just helps to um, keep everything organized.